So I'm in the middle of adjusting the color balance on my chicken. I start, or on my duck here. Start with the midtones, then I'm going to go to the shadows and push it towards the blues. And then I'm going to go to my highlights. I'm trying not to go too far and get those warms back in just on the highlights. And there's a lot of highlights just because it's lit very strongly. Then I can go to adjustments and hue saturation, big guns. See if it should shift either way. It's going to shift a little bit more towards the red. Maybe minus six. I don't need it more saturated. Well, I could try. <laughs> Usually I'll try it. Yeah, maybe a, t a tiny bit more saturated. Just to really push it in front of the background, which is a little less saturated. Now what goes in front of that? French fries. All right. So before I cut out the French fries, because I have these nice cutouts, let me finish cutting out this duck which is nice and sharp and in focus like a middle ground should be. So I'm going to use my just my lasso with a three pixel feather. Going to get any of these kind of remaining edges. Okay, now I'm going to use my eraser with 100% opacity, incredibly important, 0% hardness. And then I'm going to slowly bite away from these shadows to get it to look like it's kind of sinking into this, this goulash, this stew. Now this is where some internal compositing is going to be necessary because I'm using this goulash stuff as my middle ground leading back to these mountains. So I actually want to erase away from my hamburger too. That's why it's important to erase away at 100%. I think I can leave that tomato. Maybe I can leave a little bit of that lettuce, but not all of it. You're trying to show it like sinking in, right? Like you're dunking this in the gravy. It's turning out pretty weird, but that's okay. Okay, then the spaghetti, same thing. I can see that come through. I just want to erase away that hard edge. Sink it all together. Yeah, so now that's fairly believable as it goes back. It can use some work, but I, I have time. Let's see, do I want the spaghetti to come through like this? That's kind of cool. Maybe go under the chicken. Yeah, why not? Okay, so something like that. Okay, so now, why is that confusing? Ah, it's so hard, so many options. Yeah, that's better. Just leave the tomato. I'm just gonna erase it right here, blend that in. 100% opacity. And then get rid of that little rim on that tomato. So this is just hand done with the eraser. All right, so same here. How can I sink this goulash in? I'm going to go to this goulash layer, layer seven for me, which is in the background. Once Photoshop P catches up with me. Whenever it lags, I save it. I can save some memory by cropping it a little bit closer to my parameters. I kind of know what I have now. I can even go right into my image parameters. I can even close it up a little bit more if I need to, because there's a little too much hamburger in it. So maybe this is the composition I want. And is it big enough? It should still be big enough. 
right? If I look at my image size, it should be at least 8 by 10 by 300, and it's 10 by 13 by 350, so still plenty big to print. And unfortunately, it just looks like I'm selling something here, but it's like a Boston market ad. But now I can see what's believable and what needs work. And what I can do is I can take that goulash layer, duplicate it, move it up on top of the duck, and then find things to internally composite. So I'm going to do a loose cutout. This is with the three pixel feather of these big chunks of meat. So what's great about high quality reference is I can use it over and over again. So I'm going to duplicate just that out. And now you can see I have that kind of rolling into the foreground more. And I can decide how much of that I want to use by erasing it out. So now we have a duck sailing on the high seas of meat stew. Whoops, wrong layer. Yeah, I kind of, as weird as it is, I kind of like obscuring it with something a little bit softer in the foreground. We'll trim the edge, cut it back. Again, that's called internal compositing. I can also just use my eraser, kind of play with where I place things. Then I got to go to my duck. And now that I've gotten rid of my hard edges, I can take my eraser down to a lower opacity, especially in the shadows. and then sync them all together. Then I'll have the, the other leg of this duck come forcing through the, the goulash. Take it back to 100% soft edged, really clearly erase that out. All right, so I'm just missing, I have middle ground, I have background, I have some foreground. If I really want strong foreground, I need something like this, like this element. And how can I cut that out? Well, I can use contiguous with the magic wand with the three pixel feather. I need to be on the right layer. And I can hold down shift, come on, right layer. Well, I select everything that's not a french fry. Ah, uh, but it immediately went into the french fry. So sometimes selecting is just difficult. And there aren't great shortcuts. You're free to experiment with the different selection tools, but ultimately you want a, cl a clean cutout by the end. So I'm going to select away what I can, maybe just do a chunk at a time, and then just do the rest by hand. As soon as I bite away french fry, I need to stop. Okay, and now, how do you do it by hand? I have my lasso at three pixels, and I can just find that edge. And delete, take that chunk out. Here we have a little internal part. I can increase the number of pixels for the feather, but I think three is working pretty well especially because a lot of this foreground is 
soft focus. I tried to sharpen it up a little bit, if you remember. But I can also just cut out my own edges. I like that this looks like a leaf. <laughs> kind of coming from one of these. But it's just in the background. But I'll leave that for now. And I might end up like just cutting out whole french fries too if I don't think they work. I have to get this debris that's in the middle. But what is nice about the lasso is it gives me some of that kind of crunchy fried edge that I might soften too much if I just hand drew it all or hand uh, selected it all. And of course I can use the magic wand to select the empty space and then feather it. And I have some feathering on my lasso, so just the more I hit delete, the more it will bite away at the edge. Last one. This guy, this is the guy I sharpened the most. With the sharpen tool and I think that was a good decision I think that's going to pay off so now just because you had your sketch doesn't mean you have to be so married to it like I might decide that I worked so hard on that duck and I really like that that leg of the duck kind of breaking through the, the meat stew. Maybe I don't want these french fries just covering up that work. So maybe I can shrink them down or flip them, move them somewhere. And do I have time to do it? I do. And then what else can I do to make these french fries fit better? What have I not done in terms of lighting and coloring? I haven't done adjustments. You guys know it. You're such a quiet class. But you guys seem awake, which is good. It's good to be awake. But you know your stuff. So let's see, where, where is it better? Ah, maybe just smaller. So I want this to be an immediate foreground element. So around there kind of works. What do you guys think? Well, I need something in the extreme foreground. But I could. I could push them back. Let's try it. You think the right corner? Yeah, I can cover up some of the duck. Yeah. All right, here, what if I squat it a little bit? Hold down shift. That helps. I guess the truth is I really like that meatball, but that's okay. Yep. Well, and I can internally composite that meatball and use it somewhere else as well. Okay, so let's do that. And then... I'm trying to find like a good angle. And now I'm going to erase out that little leaf thing because that doesn't work. And these little shreds. And now I'm going to internally composite some of this goulash around the base of the fries to hide the cup. So what do I do? I go to the goulash layer and I duplicate it and I push it up above the fries. And because it's internally composited, I can now erase away from it. It's on its own layer. And I can kind of sink the fries in. Get rid of that hard edge. 